Uh, hello, so here we are going to move the molds to upstairs. It will be pumped through this so it can be crushed by the mill uh, and then it's ready to use for tomorrow. So here you see the, the molds and when I push this it will start pumping over. So it will be noisy so yeah. So here we see the mill where the molds come in, they get crushed to use tomorrow. The first step in brewing is blending hot water and a grind malt and it happens here in the Washington and it makes the conversion of starch into sugar possible. The, the juice is called wort and the wort runs through the, the sieve, the bottom of the, of the mashing tun and it's recovered in the, in, the, in the copper where it's boiled and the spent grain is uh, reused by the, the farmer and he gives it to the, uh, the cows who give better milk with that. So now all the wort coming from this specific ship is going to be pumped to the next one here in the cool ship. Um, and as you can see uh, now it's getting a lot of damp because of course we need the temperature 100 degrees because in this step two we need to boil the wort because now we're going to add some hops. I'm not 100% sure if you managed to see the hops, but um, the hops are actually placed in this specific uh, small container. And so we are adding all the wort right here. He just told me that the hops will actually um, overflow uh, in this small little container. So from now we should be able to see it a little bit better. Okay, let's see all the hops. Oh la la. Okay, thank you so much. Now we are definitely able to see it. Can you tell us which hop it is? Nuggets. Nuggets. Oh, it's a local hop. Yeah, it's from Popperin. All our hops are from Popperin. So uh, Popperin is about 20 kilometers away from here yeah. so it's it's really the west side of Belgium um, the the west side of West Flanders in Belgium yeah the, this the area where you have a lot of hot cultivation so after one hour of uh, cooling in the cool ship 
the temperature drops till from 100 degrees centigrade till 90 and here it goes from 90 to 25 with a real uh, fantastic invention of uh, a French engineer uh, Jean Francois Baudelot and it's very simple inside the tubes there is cold water and the hot wort runs over it and it cools and at the same time there is an oxygenation that means that the oxygen comes into the wort and the oxygen is needed for the start of the yeasting of fermentation and that's happening in two copper uh, fermenters, open fermenters, which are typical to English, uh, old English breweries from previous centuries. Okay, thank you. Here you can see some. Wait, which beer is it exactly that you're brewing now? Uh, now we are brewing the stout, which is a very dark beer. You see it? Yes, exactly. That's, mm. Okay, can we see the fermentation? Yes. Room? Yeah, the first day of fermentation is multiplication of the yeast cells due to a lot of oxygen which is in the wort and the oxygen will uh, enable the yeast to multiply by themselves, they need the, the air for that. When they are uh, in number enough to start uh, fermentation, they start the anaerobic fermentation means without, uh, without oxygen and they convert sugar into alcohol and what they the, the what comes out of this is uh, co2 is carbon dioxide as for tomorrow and and the rest of uh, of the week and uh, now you see the bottlery and the bottlery is uh, the the activity we were going to to do tomorrow morning we start at six o'clock and then we blend beer and uh, fresh yeast and sugar we make a mix and then we start bottling at eight o'clock with seven people and we are intended to bottle uh, 17,000 bottles uh, to borrow and if that uh, happens well we will have uh, finished at 11 11 30 then we have to clean everything again mm -hmm. 